Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we are going to break down the React Tasker boots available at Revzilla.com. React is a brand that we kicked off about two years ago. Our designers live in house, and they really focus on bringing you the best products for an affordable price point. What we're gonna break down in this video are the all new Tasker boots, which are coming out around that $180 price point. Now keep in mind that Revzilla does have a price match guarantee, so you are guaranteed to get the lowest price. And this is the first pair of boots that we are seeing from React. And what you're gonna see is really a casual pair of riding boots. You got a lace up style. One of the things that I really like about this is they didn't give us a zip entry. A lot of these modern boots will have lace up and then an extra zip entry. I think this gives us a much more classic look when it just sticks to a traditional lace up. So I'm super stoked on that. Now, from a sizing perspective, sizes will range from a nine up to a 14. There are a few half sizes available. 12 and a half is not one of them. I normally wear a 12 and a half in my motorcycle boots. They didn't have a 12 and a half. I tried on the 12, I tried on the 13. I actually sized up to the 13 in these. So just keep that in mind. If you find yourself between two sizes, you're gonna wanna go up a size and they should fit you spot on. The black boots are on the table. Two different colors are available. It is going to be a black option as well as a brown option. And they're gonna be done in a full grain leather that breaks in really nicely. So just keep that in mind. This is gonna be a pair of boots that after you know six to 12 months really will break in and give you that nice patina that you'd expect from a well-worn pair of boots. Now, as we're looking at the construction, it is full grain leather mixed with a, uh, an abrasion resistant mesh. And they did this because it is a waterproof boot. So the waterproof is gonna go up to about the second eyelet here. So just keep in mind, if you are wearing a pair of motorcycle pants that are waterproof, that has to go down over top of the boot. And then the reason that you're gonna see this abrasion resistant mesh is to help with sweat evaporating out. If you cover the entire thing in leather, the boots get really hot. I know that because I've got a couple of pair of boots in similar styles that are done in full leather um, that are waterproof and they get very hot in the summertime. So the idea behind the mesh is that it just helps with some of that evaporation and the sweat wicking out. Um, so that's just gonna be something that you'll notice on both sides of the particular boot. Now that changes the style a little bit. Personally, I like a full grain leather throughout. Um, if I had one nitpick with this, I would have loved to have seen a non-waterproof version. Really, I sweat so much regardless that I prefer to wear my boots in a non-waterproof option. So if I had an ask for the future, if you're watching this, um, I would actually like to see the next iteration come out in a full grain leather with a non-waterproof option. But for those of you out there looking for a waterproof boot, that is what they took a stab at first and with those panels on the side, just to help to make it more comfortable. Now, the thing that I really like the most about the boot is gonna be the sole. It's a Goodyear welt sole that is fully replaceable. It's probably about a five out of 10 on the rigidity scale. It is a boot that's gonna be super rigid, but it will break in. And this is gonna be something that's still gonna be comfortable enough for you to walk around in. And again, you can see the lug sole on the base of this, but what I like about it is it is fully replaceable. So, you know, if you end up keeping the boots for, you know, four or five years, you wear that sole out, you can take it to your local, your local cobbler and you can have it resold. There's no, you know, special skills that you need for that. I've had many of my boots resold and I think anytime that you wanna invest in a pair of boots, um, if you get a pair that has a replaceable sole, you can just keep having them sold time and time again and get a pretty long life out of the boots. So super stoked on the sole that you're gonna see with this. Reinforcement at the toe. And the one thing you'll notice, you're gonna have asymmetry. So if you're looking at the left boot, you are gonna get this extra layer of reinforced leather up over top of the boot where you're gonna have an extra piece there for the shifting panel. Um, a lot of manufacturers will include that extra piece on both sides to give you symmetry. I like asymmetry. So the fact that I don't have it on the right boot because I don't shift with my right boot, I think it's actually pretty cool. Um, but where you need it, where you need that extra level of reinforcement, you are gonna get that on the left boot. As you work your way around, you'll notice that on the, uh, the both the lateral as well as the medial side of the ankle cups, you're gonna have a little pop of uh, TPR, which has that Reax logo in there. Underneath that, there is gonna be a reinforcement ankle cup on both sides. And then when you get to the back of the boot, you're gonna have a reinforced heel cockpit and a little pop of reflectivity there as well. Um, you can see that extra little Reax logo with that reinforced ankle cup on the outside. Now, when we take a look at the inside of the boot, it is a full Nappa leather interior with this. It's gonna go all the way down to the base of the boot. And then that does transition into a mesh lining when you get to the front. So that's something very similar to what I would see in my rocker boots. I have a pair of rocker boots that cost me around you know, $450. So you're getting some of these high-end creature comforts, but in a boot that comes in sub $200. Now, 
This is gonna be a waterproof boot, so for those of you out there that are looking for a waterproof option, I think the designers at React did a really good job of working in a lot of bang for the buck for that sub $200 mark. This is a really solid boot, especially considering the price point that it's playing at. Now, if you're like me and you're not really looking for a waterproof option, that's what I'd like to see next, is give me the same boot, lose the waterproof membrane, and maybe give me full leather construction. That's something that uh, I would definitely be interested in seeing come down the line. But for the first time that we're seeing Reacts take a crack out of a boot straight out of the gate, I think there's a lot of boot here to really enjoy especially consider the price that is playing at. Now, if you want more information about this boot, you wanna read other rider reviews, you can always click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read rider reviews from other folks that are putting the Tasker boots to their paces, or if you're not sure yet as to which pair of boots is right for you, your bike and your riding style, you can always reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. I wanna thank you for joining us for this look at the Reacts Tasker boots. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.